always listening. If it starts going hollow, then you know there's a crack somewhere that you don't necessarily want it to be. I'm John Storm, Storm Stonescaping. I'm a traditional stonemason specializing in stone masonry and dry stone. And this is an example of a dry stone folly which I just completed. Uh, a folly is, is, is a fake ruin, so it's a mock ruin, so it's a, it's a building that's uh, new and it's built to resemble something that's dilapidated. They were first created back in the Victorian era for a backdrop to a garden area, uh, but, it, but they make a perfect backdrop for, uh, in this particular case, an outdoor dining room. So we're standing in front of the Rumford fireplace that uh, was integrated within the structure of the wall as was traditionally would have been done. So this folly, as it's referred to, would be a replica of a building that would have been built here probably 160, 200 years ago by the pioneers that would have settled this area. And they would have used a fireplace as such for cooking and heating up of this particular room. So they would have used the majority of the floor space as best as possible. So here I incorporated two shelves uh, that, that are built out of some old barn material into the walls. Uh, this again to utilize the floor space. In keeping with the deteriorated look of the folly, um, originally I was going to put in a, an old barn beam. But the more I was looking at the barn beams that I have uh, and the ones that I come across, Nothing looked weathered enough. So I, I decided to go with a cedar rail from an old cedar rail fence. Dry stone is the assembly of, of stones with no mortar. So from walling stones such as this to harding stone which is, which is smaller stones right down to uh, pieces that are the size of your thumbnail. It's completely stone literally through and through. You lay out all the stone around, uh, and when you do, I, I kind of memorize what stone is where, especially more unique stones, uh, odd shaped and whatnot. I've learned to walk all around and find the stone, because it is always here. It's just a matter of finding it now. You just have an eye for it, basically. It's, it's very uh, spatial. One thing is that you never force it. If you, if you try to force the stone, it just, it, it never, it may work initially, but it doesn't last. You have to work with the stone, not against it, and uh, things will go a lot smoother. In the construction of this particular building, we used two different materials. Granite, and this is dolomite limestone. It's a great building stone in that it, it has a beautiful texture to it. Uh, very simple. It's definitely easy to cut with a chisel, but it has a mind of its own, definitely. It's, uh, you don't always get the cut that you want out of it. I'm cutting it to fit, uh, you know, spaces every once in a while, but for the most part, it's as I find it, because, again, we want it to look very, um, very old. Oh, here's another one. This, this is another area too where I thought there's a good pinch point necessarily because the wall, because of the grade and how I introduced the stonework falling away that way and basically falling away this way, I decided that we need something down here to indicate that this has happened. And this stone here, once I placed it, I, I came back and struck it with my hammer and created this, this particular small crack. I always go to the extra little extent and make, make sure that my details are there. Um, people that will see this for years to come may not notice it, but, but it's there. I know it's there, uh, and it makes me feel good, and, and it just has the overall appearance that something's happened. It's not just stones stacked on top of each other here. So details like this, to me, are important. 
eventually this will have a P-stone floor and it'll have a beautiful table seating probably for 14 or 16 people uh, but no chairs it'll be benches it'll be very simple so the actual theme of the building well there really isn't any theme to the building it's just a dilapidated building to represent something that would have been here for many 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 years uh, and it's being revitalized and reused as a as an outdoor dining area